Welcome, football fanatics and friends and foes and, well, everyone that could potentially randomly watch this. If it is randomly on your feed, I am not quite sure why. You probably don't know me. I barely know me. I try to do FM uh, content on YouTube, but, um, I mean, I'm doing it, but no one's watching. But hopefully this will spark some, I don't know, some silly things. But uh, hang on a minute. Actually, hang on. Right, that's much, much better, and uh, probably the audio thinks the same because of that thing. And also, I'm not sweating as much, but uh, yeah, a bit of uh, memorabilia from my FM series going on. All the links are going to be in the description and all sorts, but uh, yeah, I'm going to do something wildly creative and wildly original. I'm going to predict the Euros, because it starts in, what is that, four hours? So uh, yeah, get stuck in. Before that, I guess I should actually present myself, because I didn't do that, because I'm a daft Thingy but uh, yeah, my name is Frank, or are you crazy? And uh, yeah, I am a vivid football freak, as we probably all, were, all are. And no, I'm not gonna be biased at all whatsoever. I will just say one disclaimer that if you are coming here for, um, you know, analytical specialist knowledge and all sorts of very, very objective thinking, then you're definitely, definitely, definitely going to be wrong because I'm not going to be doing that. I'm putting on my gambling hat. Like, this is the stuff I would do if I'm, if I was to bet money on it. Not bet my life. If I was to bet my life, I would just say France or Germany wins it. But that's boring. We're here to make money, even though it's completely free <laughs> and it's just going to use, we're just going to use the official UEFA dot com predictor game thingy majiggy i have it on my phone as well as an app and it was pretty fun so i figured eh, why not do it on the computer as well and make a video above of, of it which is um hopefully going to be interesting and i'm probably going to be amazingly wrong but i'm definitely going to have some fun doing it and a little disclaimer though it used to be super easy to predict these kind of things when there was four groups or eight groups and the number two meets number one but here it's you know there's six groups so there's four of the third place ones go through and depending on i've been reading up on the rules depending on which four that is that's what determines if you meet what team in the other group or whatever like so it's all a bit mishmashy which is why we're just going to use this like this actual side and just press in the things and then let it decide for us so basically i'm just gonna <laughs> i'm just gonna see stuff as it comes up and then i'm gonna say who wins and maybe why but maybe not so uh, yeah let's delve into it though Right, well, of course, first up is Group A, where I have a bit of a conundrum here because I'm not completely biased because I do, in fact, live in Turkey. So I'm going to do something very controversial. I'm going to put Turkey as number one. And why? It's actually not that silly. Italy are, yeah, the, Italy are a powerhouse, sure, but they're also slow starters. They're not that impressive these days. It's not like, you know, Italy 10 years ago where they would just smash everyone. And everyone was terrified about them. And Turkey have been really resurgent, I think, even though they played quite the crap as well. Sorry, Turkey. Sorry, neighbors and everyone around here. Sorry, girlfriend, even though she doesn't care about football, so I can say whatever. But um, yeah, they've kind of been good, and they have some very, very good ta uh, talented players, like Sunju, the defender, and of course, Chanelolu, who will definitely, definitely pronounce that correctly. And yeah, I mean, I, I think they could be a pr surprise package, and they meet tonight, the first match, so I don't think Italy are going to take them serious. And for that reason, I actually think they're going to win, and I think Italy will finish second in that group. Because of that, because Italy is still good enough to get through. I just think they'll be shocked in the first match. So therefore, actually, this is pretty straightforward. It's going to be Turkey, Italy, Wales, and then Switzerland. I don't believe in Switzerland any longer. And I think Wales are a good young team with Bale up there. N not that he's young, but leading them. And uh, I, think, uh, I think they're going to beat Switzerland. Switzerland are just... Mm, they're a bit so-so for me. Um, now Group B, of course, where... Not biased at all, no, 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 so objective, but um, Belgium is definitely gonna finish second in the group. Oh, do, 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 do. And Russia and Finland kind of picks themselves. It's between Denmark and uh, Belgium. Obviously, Belgium are infinitely better if you look at it player by player than Denmark is, but Denmark have been playing really, really well this year. So, we got a new manager. That two years ago or whatever the last year with i don't know time flies in these corona things situations but we've actually been playing really well and get some good results here and there we just drew versus germany and uh, uh friendly and beat bosnia herzegovina quite comfortably i would say as well and we have some very talented young boys and i think 
the same situation with group A. I think Belgium are going to take us lightly, and I think we will actually win the group. We'll probably draw. <sighs> this is my prediction, actually. We're going to beat Belgium, but we'll draw like versus Russia, and it'll be like close, and it'll be because that's what we do. We play well for five minutes, get in head, and then we just decide, nope, we're not going to play any longer. Uh, I think versus Belgium we're going to turn it on, and sadly Finland. <sighs> I mean, grats on them coming here, but I don't think they're good enough. And Russia will definitely beat them. And, well, everyone will beat them. But even Russia will take the third place there. So, yeah. I guess, you know, it's a bit surprising with Denmark top. But other than that, I think it picks itself right. And if I, like, if it was to on my life, I would probably put Belgium on top. But that would be boring, right? So I'm picking Denmark this one. I have strong feelings and beliefs and yeah, all sorts. Yeah, all them good things. <clears throat> like, right, Group C... Is pretty straightforward. Definitely going to be Netherlands. Um, Macedonia is definitely going to be the bottom one. They, I mean, it's, it's going to be their first ever as North Macedonia, Macedonia, right? But I think it's going to be Austria taking the second place. Um, I'm not so sure about Ukraine these days. <coughs> it's far from the Chevchenko era days, and uh, Austria have a good team, you know, led by Alaba. And I mean, Denmark did beat them in the qualifiers, so but Netherlands is easily going to win that group and Netherlands are one of my like dark horses Depay is going to have an amazing 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 Euro Cup he's going to be so amazing that he doesn't go to Barcelona which I'm kind of sad about because I'm Barca fan but uh, you wait and see Group D of course this is where all the English people go mental oh it's coming home it's coming home it's coming second place behind Croatia but in front of Scotland and Czech Republic, that is my prediction, yes. Croatia are just, we saw it in the World Cup, they are amazing. And they have De uh, Denmark, well they also have Denmark's number in that tournament, but uh, they have England's number and they're going to beat them. I, I feel strongly about it. England are just, they're so bloody amazing, right? But then they, they, they something always happens and you're like, what, 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 what on earth happened there? And that is the same thing is going to happen here. Croatia are going to win the group. I mean, England is still going to go through. Scotland, I think, as well. Czech Republic, I, I, it's a bit with the Ukraine as well. Like they, It's a bit of an old guard. I know they have some young talent coming through, but they're not quite there yet. I'm sure that they have the talent to battle up there one day, but it's definitely not going to be just quite yet. And, yeah, sad for them. But, yeah, I think, I think this is a good one. And this is a bit of a gamble as well, right? But I think it's going to be pay off. Now, Group E is also a bit of a tricky one. Spain has not been overly amazing i think the last few years and they're now struggling with corona like busquets which is probably a good thing that he's not playing let's be real but um yeah i still think they should win this group quite comfortably i do think poland is going to finish second sweden third and slovakia fourth pretty straightforward i would think that many people would guess exactly that and yeah i'm not gonna not gonna tinker with that too much and uh, now of course the group of death where hungary is definitely gonna finish fourth yeah you just thought for a second there right um yeah poor hungary um but th this is a t terrifying group right i'm just gonna do it and then we'll then i'm gonna think about it and then i'm gonna and then i'm gonna like this is probably the obvious thing that many things many people would do um and yeah i just think i mean france is just so good i think france and germany might draw and it's going to be a bit up in the air and i certainly wouldn't be surprised if portugal end up beating one of the teams and it's, it's going to get jumbled somehow but i think all three though are gonna somehow make through because of the whole you know six groups and needs four because well what we're going to do now but this is how i think the actual standing will end that one is definitely ter ter terrifying to well play in but also terrifying to predict so <clears throat> the four that are going to be in the third best place is going to be it's going to be Wales because they're going to win uh, Russia like I said Russia are going to finish with four points they're definitely going to go through I'm going to say Portugal as well and then Scotland probably not I'm going to and definitely not Ukraine I'm going to have to go with Sweden my neighbors even though we're almost enemies as i say so continue for there and that see then oh see now it completely changed i have it on my phone which i did and denmark ended up playing wales um now we play our arch enemy sweden which is kind of funny well that is um 
there is only one way and that is of course Denmark and oh that's actually so interesting as well Turkey are definitely gonna beat Austria I believe Turkey I think are a good team uh, they have some good players but if they can gel they can definitely play well France Wales not surprising and then England beat Poland quite comfortably Spain versus Russia hmm pretty straightforward I think Spain Germany Croatia this is where it's not really a surprise. Netherlands, Portugal. If that is the thing, I'm definitely going to go Netherlands or Holland, as I would call it, because I think Holland are going to have a great, great uh, year. They are so talented. Depay is just on fire. Like, that dude is crazy. And hmm, Italy, Belgium. I'm going to be bold and say Belgium, actually. That would be fun. Uh, Flandern or whatever. <laughs> uh, rivalry there as well. And France, England. This is actually some funny ones. There's some rivalries going on there. So I guess let's start at the bomb then, because then who wins over Netherlands and Belgium? That is definitely going to be Netherlands. Like I said, I have high hopes for Netherlands. Germany, Spain. Spain are not amazing. They're not the tiki-taka we used to know, so Germany are just going to out-muscle them. They're going to out-machine them, and it'll be that. Straightforward. Very easy. Um, England, France. That's always going to be difficult, but... For me, there's no like. There's only one clear winner here. Just look at the players overall, and Mbappe is gonna score like three goals versus England. Their defense is not good enough, even uh, if Maguire comes back in full force and all sorts. But uh, yeah, and then view details. Now I don't wanna do any of that because Denmark are definitely beating Turkey. We are miles, miles ahead of Turkey. Luckily, my girlfriend's not actually here. If she did hear just me say stuff like that, she would definitely go mental. And Netherlands, Germany. Hmm. Yeah, see, this is where it gets a bit... Like, if it was on my life, I would probably just say easy Germany, right? It's always a safe bet to say Germany. But I, like I said, I have high hopes for Netherlands just year. I mean, I, why do I keep saying high hopes? It's not like I'm hoping for them i just have high expectations i have a feeling that they're gonna play really really well and uh, it could be quite a success for them and the same goes here i should just pick france easy mbappe is gonna score but mbappe is gonna be injured from Maguire headbutting him because they're so angry that he's playing with them so he'll be like Ugh, but we're only playing denmark so it's easy i'll just rest the next match and boom suddenly suddenly it's Denmark versus Netherlands in the finals. That is an exciting one. And Depay is going to be like, lol, easy, easy peasy. But then Josef Paulsen turns up and he bloody outmuscles him all game. And boom, voila. Denmark are actually the winners of the 2020 slash 21, whatever you want to call it, Euro Cup. You heard it here first. I have a strong feeling Denmark are going to be amazing this year. I think so. Now, they could just go out in the group, and I'm absolutely wrong, but I have a strong feeling. And, of course, I am very, very, I'm not biased at all. Like, I, it, this is all analytical and very professional, very professional. But, uh, yeah, that is my predictions. And if I, I guess, make a disclaimer, if I'm actually taking this seriously, who would I think is going to win? Then I would absolutely say Germany. Germany would meet France in the final, and Germany would, out muscle them. I think it's time for a German recession, even though France would probably be many people's favorites in that match, just because of like they're so goddamn good. I mean, they're the world champions for, for a good reason, right? They are so amazing. Kante on form, Mbappe on form, how can you beat that? With German efficiency. And I think that would be France versus Germany, and Germany would take it if I would have to bet my life on it. But I'm not. I'm just betting virtual free money that. I don't know, the Queen of Denmark has provided me. And therefore, Denmark, you heard it here first. So if you are a betting man, just throw a tenner on it or something for funsies. Denmark are definitely going to win the Euro Cup. And it's going to be glorious. It's going to be like 1992. And do remember, we are at home in some of the matches. So that's even better. So yeah. Anyways, of course, this is pretty silly. But uh, thanks for <laughs> watching if you did watch it. And I hope you had some fun watching it. But uh, yeah, so... From me, the new, well, at least in three or four weeks or whatever, the new European champion, Frank the Dane, I bid you and hope, 
I bid you well, I bid you well, I bid you farewell, and I hope that you have an amazing Euro Cup, because I certainly will if I can figure out how to watch all the matches. I should probably start investigating that now, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, link for all sorts in the description if you want to see more of my stuff, because it's pretty silly, to be honest, but uh, yeah, till next time, if possible.